In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a sneaky trick that you can use with your extra places to lock in a guaranteed profit right off the bat without the risk of taking any qualifying losses. Now this trick, a lot of experienced match bettors will already know this, but you can actually change the place that you're laying in on the betting exchange. When you're doing extra places, you can change the place in which you're laying in, which will lock you in a guaranteed profit. It'll boost the rating in most cases above 100% and it will lock you in a guaranteed profit. Of course, you lose the possibility of the horse landing within the extra place, but you, you know, you're know you urban the place market and you're making a guaranteed profit each time. And if you do enough of these each week, you'll quickly build up your bank and you'll quickly make some big profits just from urban the extra places with the bookmakers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean and exactly how this works over on my computer screen. Okay, so urban extra places. How can we do this? How can we have extra places and lock in a guaranteed profit on every single uh, extra place offer that we do? So urban extra places, to guarantee a profit, we need to get over a 100% odds match when we're doing our extra places. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for an odds match uh, over 100%. So if we take this screenshot here from the extra place matcher, and if you don't know how to use the extra place matcher, by the way, I'll leave a link in one of the corners of this video. I'll leave a card um, in one of the corners of this video, and that'll just walk you through exactly how that works. I would recommend watching that before you jump in doing this and trying to have extra places. Um, so basically, this is just a, uh, a screen grab I took from a, a race at Ludlow, 1440. Um, and these are all the horses along here going along the extra place matcher. Now, what these horses all have in common is the fact that the rating on them is all beneath 100%. So you can see this top one has a rating of 95.93, second one 87.94, third one is 85.65 and so on and so forth. But the common factor, what keeps going on there, is that they're all underneath 100% rating. And therefore, as I said earlier in this video, we were looking to get over 100% rating, which will lock us in a guaranteed profit. So because these ratings are all beneath 100%, that means that every single one of these will result in a qualifying loss. So we back at the win in each way with the bookmaker, with this bookmaker here, we lay the win with the exchange and then we lay the place with the exchange, we would take the qualifying loss, um, what's shown in that column there, because the ratings, simply because the ratings are below 100%. So we'll just take the top one, we'll just uh, consolidate this a little bit and take the top runner, which is Tinker's Hill Tommy, which is a funny name for a horse. Um, and we can see once again the rating is beneath 100%, so it's a 95.93% rating. And therefore the qualifying loss is negative. You're going to take a loss from backing the win in each way with a bookmaker, laying the win with the exchange and laying the place with the exchange. Under 100% you're going to take a small qualifying loss. And obviously if the horse lands within the extra place which is specified here, which in this race was third, um, that's where you make your profit. And this is typically how people do extra places. They back the win in each way with a bookmaker, they, are, they lay the win with the exchange and they lay the place with the exchange because the bookmaker's paying out on one place more so the bookmaker's paying out on three places and the exchange lay only covers the two places. If the horse lands in third, that's where they make the profit. Um, so that's that's the idea generally behind extra places to take as high rating as you possibly can, minimise your qualifying loss and try and get that extra place profit if the horse lands within the specified extra place or extra places in some cases. Um, and you can see here, the place lay odds are 1.7. Now, as we're herbing extra places, this is where the value is going to be coming from. And this is where we're going to be able to herb the uh, the profits and get the rating above 100%. So as you can see, the place lay odds at the moment are 1.7, as, as it's shown there with that red arrow. And uh, it's also shown there on the betting exchange as well. So we're in the place market here, and you can see Tinker's Hill Tommy, the place lay odds uh, for two to be placed is 1.7. And just to screenshot the two there, Exchange place market 1.7 and on the extra place matcher it also says 1.7 so everything matches up and you're probably asking yourself well how can we get this above 100% and this is how we do it we're currently set to this market here on the exchange on Betfair we're currently looking at this place market across the top here now you can see there's other markets at the top here so you can see there's a win market each way market place market which is the one we're currently on three places and then there's two other markets here what we're not really going to be interested in. Now all we need to do to get an herb and get a 100% match and it's really really simple is we just simply switch the market that we're looking at. So obviously we're in the place market there and that shows there it's two to be placed in the top uh, left hand corner. If we select this market next to it which is three places in this example, if we select that three places market 
look what happens to the layout in the free place market. So we've selected the free places market, it says up here free to be placed. The lay odds are now 1.39, so the odds on the lay market for the free places have shortened, which means it becomes more likely that this is going to occur because obviously you're covering an extra position in, in the place market, so it becomes more likely, therefore the odds shorten. So then that's shown there 1.39. So if we add 1.39, which is in the free place market, we add that to the extra place matcher there, 1.39, look what happens to the rating. The rating now goes above 100%, and of course, because the ratings have now gone above 100%, as I said earlier, this means that we'll now guarantee a profit, and you can see that shown in the qualifying loss column. The qualifying loss is no longer negative, we're no longer taking a qualifying loss, we're now taking a qualifying win, just from backing winning each way with a bookmaker, just from laying the win, and then just from laying the place, but laying one place market above what we would normally lay when we're doing extra places. So yeah, if we just consolidate it again and just look at it like this, you can see the rating's now 104.98%, so it's essentially 105% rating, and this, this means that we're going to lock in a profit, a guaranteed profit of £1, just from uh, getting on that horse. But what it also means is that this extra place profit, what we can make a big profit on if the horse lands within the extra place, what's um, covered by the bookmaker, but it's not covered by the place lay on the exchange, this is no longer... Uh, an option for us because remember we've backed the win in each way three places with the bookmaker in this example then we've laid the uh laid three places as well so we've covered essentially covered every single outcome in the race but we've got on this for an ab so it's kind of like taking a smaller guaranteed profit as opposed to going for glory and trying to land the extra place and taking a small qualifying loss if that doesn't occur so that extra place profit no longer is applicable so what people do to get around this and maximize their profits is they simply change their each way stakes. So they amp up their each way stake. So you can see I've amped that up to £100 each way stake. And that now brings that in to a £9.97 profit. Guaranteed profit just from backing the win each way with a bookmaker. Uh, laying the win with the exchange and laying the place with the exchange. That locks in a £10 profit just from upping your stakes. A guaranteed profit regardless of what happens. But the downside is, of course, you lose this extra place profit that becomes no longer available which is a downside but you take a guaranteed profit and if you do enough of these each week you're going to very quickly smash in some big profits because as, as you can see it's easy to do you just switch in the place markets around and then there you go the profits locked in you've guaranteed a profit um, with these herbs as well it's harder for bookmakers to track when when people are taking herbs on the extra places so if you're just herbing the win markets or with a a football team had like a 105% match and the back odds were higher with the bookmaker than they were with the exchange. Bookmakers can figure this out really quickly because you're just herbing a very simple, you know, it's a very simple herb, you're backing high with the bookmaker, you're laying lower the exchange. But because there's so many variables, two extra places and each way markets and things like that, and the bet first got loads of different markets, and it's, it's much more difficult for the bookmaker to actually track whether you're herbing or whether you're just a recreational gambler who's just betting. So with herbs normally, I wouldn't recommend taking them, but with herbs using extra places, it's much more difficult for the bookmaker to track what's actually going on, unless you're taking a, a ridiculously high price with it. If this price here was like a you know a 7.0 7 back odds and the rating was like 125 130 percent obviously something's gone wrong there and the bookmaker's got a mispricing or something like that so that's the only way they're going to catch you herb in extra places and yeah that's pretty much it that's how it works it's really it's you know it's a really good way of making a guaranteed profit on an extra place market which maybe doesn't have the best uh, matches and things like that what i would say when you're doing this is try and look for something what already has a rating of about 90 to 95 percent plus so anything around that rating is probably going to be able to be boosted above 100 percent if you start going into the 80 percent ratings you might not be able to boost it quite above 100 percent which is remember what we're looking for anything above 100 percent equals a profit um so yeah that pretty much wraps it up uh i hope that was clear enough to understand it might have been a little bit confusing at points but basically you're just covering all outcomes in a clever way where you're just changing the place market um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you found it useful and you're going to use this method to lock in some big profits using extra places and urban extra places, tap that like button just below. If you do that, it'll help me out massively, help my YouTube channel out massively. So thanks very much in advance for doing that. And if you want to get more content like this and more ways of making money from match betting, which I know quite a lot of them have been doing this quite a long time now, I've got quite a few different tricks in my arsenal in the match betting world, tap that subscribe button and YouTube will send you those videos as soon as I upload them. Um, to YouTube.
So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video.